What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And we start playoff week with a wild card matchup at Milliken High as the Rams take on Temecula Valley Golden Bears. Milliken alum and first year head coach Tino Nunez has his girls in the playoffs, which is where every first year coach wants to end up. They're glad to be at home, too, because they've been great on the home pitch in the second half of this season. Caitlin Fricky, Rebecca Tomeo, and the rest of the back line for the Rams going to have to be ready for this very organized attack from Temecula Valley. And at the outset, the majority of the game played at the midfield as these two boxers kind of feel each other out. And the majority of punches being landed by the Golden Bears early on in the first five minutes or so, but once Milliken was able to open it up, this game changed in a hurry. Well, yeah, it was opened up by number 16, the captain in the middle, Alex Palomino, who got Kelly Johnson and the rest of the forwards involved. That turned into a lot of chances in front of the goal for the Rams in the first half. Yeah, they got eight shots to go the Golden Bears' is two to start this one, including this one. Nice shot on frame by Palomino. Yeah, Palomino trying to pull a, uh, a faux Wayne Rooney right there. <laughs> that shot this week. Weekend. And then Kelly Johnson, probably the best chance of the first half, tries to squeeze a five hole, not going to happen. And as we've said so many times, if it doesn't go in on one side, it's going in on the other. And the Temecula Valley Bears started going from long distance, well, shot, pass, shass, whatever you want to call this thing, it's all of a sudden 1-0 Temecula. Jackie Galvez goes long distance in the 33rd minute. Her coach said that's the senior captain midfielder's first goal of the season and obviously a timely one for Temecula Valley. Yeah, and momentum quickly put on the gaudy brown and yellow because they got another good chance off the corner in the first half and then in the second half, they continued the momentum. Olivia Bedard stepping up big for the Rams, keeping them close. Yeah, and if she doesn't step up big on every single one of her four saves, obviously this game would have been over a lot earlier. Well, it wasn't and the Rams definitely did push hard but you have to tip the cap to the Bears defense they did a fantastic job of using space against the Rams and everything just kind of seemed congested down there yeah, and Nunez pointed out as well that his girls seemed desperate a lot earlier than they needed to, sort of throwing things in from long distance. That might have been the best shot of the whole second half for the Rams. Just not really anything connected. Yeah, they got the long distance shot. Temecula made theirs. Milliken didn't, and that's going to be the end of it. 1-0 Temecula over Milliken in the wildcard matchup. A fantastic second half of this season for the Rams, but they fall short in the wildcard. For the rest of your Long Beach soccer coverage, boys and girls in the playoffs, you stay right here. GazetteSports.com.